Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Virgo? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come across this channel. I hope everyone is staying safe to all of my new subscribers, my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your energy. For new viewers, come on in, take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. So let's get started. I'm jumping right into it, Virgo. Let's talk about it, okay? It's called Let's Talk About It. Let's see what the cards is saying. Let's talk about <clears throat> why you are still um, defensive. Let's talk about why is your heart still blocked, okay? We're going to find out. Um, I feel as though that may be reason why uh, some of you are being very defensive, blocking your energy uh, from someone that is watching you, someone that you had some dealings with, and this person definitely hurt your heart, okay? I see that this person um, really, you know, make you put your guard up, um, but also I get the energy that you're defensive uh, when it comes down to observing people, um, observing a particular person or someone, you could be just kind of, um, be, I feel like some of you are just being very vigilant of your surroundings. You're, you're protecting your territory, yourself, your heart, and you, you're just, um, you're just looking, you're just scouting things out. You're just seeing, um, you know, just seeing what's going on. Um, yeah, you're doing a lot of thinking. You have the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo. Uh, Virgo, it tells me that you are, you know, I feel like if some of you are starting to date again or you have been in dates or uh, meeting guys or women that, you know, just have not been, you know, they haven't gave you the same energy that you're that you're giving them because here you're thinking about all the seeds that you sow you're thinking about the things that you do you know it's like you're running into uh suitors or options where um you're just not being treated the same way okay i feel as though that yeah you're just kind of you know, weighing things out and looking and like, you know, um, I'm going to protect my heart. I'm going to protect my territory because I know the type of woman, the type of man that I am. I, I put a lot into a person that I'm talking to or dealing with. And so I feel like even though you have suitors coming towards you or people looking at you or people that are watching you, you're also being very vigilant and watching as well. It's like you just like, you know, you've done a lot of healing and you're just saying, hey, I am much wiser now, okay? I am much wiser. I just don't give my heart out to anyone anymore. If this person or if someone that comes into my life cannot give me the same energy that I'm giving him or her, then that's something I have to definitely take into consideration because I will not go through you know, another heartbreak, any manipulation right here. I would not go through another terrible heartbreak or anyone trying to manipulate me to get what they want from me. You know, it's almost like I feel like you're saying it's not going to be any gaslighting. It's not going to be any love bombing because I've healed. I've done a lot. My heart has been broken several times from a Gemini, Libra, or a or a Aquarius. Um, I also feel as though you're saying, you know, you're thinking about it. It's been on your mind. Like, where is this woman? Where is this man that, uh, where are they? 
You know, am I asking too much of someone to come in and give me the same energy that I give them? So you think about that. You really weigh out your 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 decision. Like, do I really want to date or am I just fine where I am at? And so you said, you know, um, it's so much game out here, so much manip- manipulation out here. Uh, justice, you have justice. Where is the fairness in all of this? You know, when it comes down to when you're single and when it comes down to meeting someone, okay? Well, you have you have justice, which is balance, okay? You are emotionally balanced, the King of Cups, okay? You could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in your chart, you're definitely emotional uh, balance. You're emotional available. You just want it in return. You understand? You just want it to be reciprocal in your life. You know, you want someone with the same exact energy as you do. And so I feel as though you know, this is someone, someone's coming rushing in. I feel a, a rushing energy. Is See, you've been alone. Okay, you've been in, you've been right there like, okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to match my energy. I'm waiting for someone to step up and be the king or be the queen that they are, but I'm not going to go out there and I'm not going to settle in the love bombing and put myself out there where I would get hurt again with people that will manipulate you just to get what he or she wants from me. You said, no way. So yes, you're standing there and you're waiting. Okay. You're waiting patiently, defensively, but you're also protecting your heart. Okay. Where you have rushing energy, some energy, it is an energy, excuse me, to just come into my platform, a Russian energy. Um, there's someone is on their way, okay? Uh, tell me more, spirit guys. See, we're talking about this thing called singleness after you have healed and you have done the work on yourself and what it is that you're not going to settle for. You said, I'm not settling for any love bombing. I'm not settling for any manipulation of someone just to get into my goodies, okay? You said, no, I'm looking for a king. I'm looking for a queen, someone that is stable, someone that wants the same thing, someone that wants the same thing that I want, and I will not settle for less. See, I want the stability. Exactly. Well, you have a Russian energy, Virgo, that's coming in your life. Okay, this is a king. This person's very stable. This person could be... You know, it could be a fire sign, okay? I see a little bit of Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Also, this person could, you know, this person has the bank, this money. This person don't want anything from you. This is someone that's going to want to match your energy, just like you have to put in, you know, to put out. This person is coming in to match your energy, Virgo. This person could be also be another Earth sign. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But their energy is here. Oh, there you are. This person sees you as the Empress. See, you know what your worth is. You know that's why you are protecting your heart. You're protecting your territory. You're not falling for that magician magician in the reverse. You're not falling for any manipulation, any love bombing, anyone that's out to get what they're going to get. You say, no, I have done a lot in my singleness. Yes, I've been single for a very long time, but it does not mean that I'm desperate and I am definitely I have definitely learned a lot where this person is rushing coming towards you I mean they're they are coming they see you Virgo as the empress or the emperor reverse the roles how it fit in your life y'all this person sees you as very grounded, very beautiful, got your stuff together, your knowledge, your brain very smart okay and your king is coming in for you. Okay, this person is coming in for some stability. 
Virgo, I'm here to tell you. <coughs> oh my goodness, that, <laughs> that card fell. Hold on, let me get these two cards that fell, Virgo. So, two car three cards fell, yeah. So, this person sees you in their future. Now, check this out. The fear, this is the moon card, the fear of the uh, of illusions or secret. This is a secret right now, but this is secretly what the divine universe has been working on for you because you have been patient. You have did a lot of healing in your singleness, okay? This is something that the divine is bringing this person towards your life, Virgo, because the divine universe said that, yeah, that you have have been patient and, and been healing and have have raised your value of who you are as a young lady, as a mature woman, as a young man, as a mature man. This, that is why the divine universe secretly has been working on this that you did not know behind the scenes, okay? So this Russian energy, when you have the knight of swords coming in, this is someone that's going to come at you very aggressively. When I say that, they're going to come at you out of nowhere, okay? This king don't play. This queen don't play. This king says what it is that he wants, she wants. This person is stable, grounded. This person wants some stability. And I feel like some of you is going to take a leap of faith with this person because you're ready for your happiness. Or this person has decided that they they want to take a leap of faith faith with you okay but I see that a lot of you are going to give this person a try you're going to give this a chance because you're ready for your happiness you're going to take a leap of faith a new leap of faith towards this person when he or she comes in and yeah because look at here you got the 10 you got the sun cards. You have the ten of cups. This part person is going to fulfill your every cup do you hear me, Virgo? This person is going to fill your every cup. Now, this reading is for all my single people that has done the healing, that has been waiting patiently. You might probably been single from six months to a year. Some of you have been single for five years, seven years, ten years, okay? But you have learned how to love yourself and you've done a lot of healing. This person is coming in to fill all of your cups. Everything with this cup right here that you have been mistreated in the past, it is about to be reversed and this person is going to fill your every cup up. Do you hear me? And for some of you, if you've been waiting for quite a, some time, also, this person sees that you're a happy person. This person sees that you're happy within yourself because, of course, of course, with a shadow of a doubt, you are the empress. Where's my empress card at? You are the empress and th this person loves your energy. OK, and you remember when I said in the beginning, Virgo, that you want someone that's going to match your energy. This person's coming in, honey. Let me tell you something, whether it's a man or female, don't be based on the gender. It's all energy. OK, this is something that the divine universe secretly been working on for you behind the scenes. And this taking this leap of faith is going to make you happy. Like I said before. This person is going to make you happy in every area that whoever you was dating in the past or had a relationship in the past, those so-called relationships you had in the past. Honey, let me tell you something. It is this person coming in and is going to fill every cup back up in your life. Some of you are going to have children by this person or you're going to blend your children together. But this person sees you and thinks very highly of you and very attracted to you. And this is coming in when you have the you have a, a knight of swords. This is Russian energy. I feel like this person is going to come at you out of nowhere. You're not going to see this coming, okay? So, um 
yeah, the spirit guides, any other message for Virgo. I told you, let's talk about it. And this is for single people only that's looking for love. This is for single people only that has been waiting patiently for love. If you don't want it, then this reading is not for you. But um, let me tell you something. Your This king or this queen, this person is coming in with stability, okay? This person, I can't make it up. This person is coming in for partnership, Virgo. Get ready, Virgo, because you set your boundaries. And because even though you ran into a lot of different suitors or people that you thought could be potentially for you, you never gave up. Up. And that's why the divine, the whole time that you were being tested through with all the other different relationships or people coming towards you and you did not take it because you knew your value as an empress and you knew what you wanted to be happy because of that. That's why the divine is bringing in this person that's going to match your energy because of your patience. Because the whole time you wasn't sitting there waiting. You kept yourself busy. You kept yourself um, working on you, working on your success and focusing on you. And honey, let me tell you something. Here come your emperor. I can't make this up. Here come the person that is going to match your energy. Here, here he comes. Here she comes. It could be an Aries that's coming in your life, Virgo. This person is coming to match your energy. Let me tell you something. You claim this and you keep your vibration. You keep your manifestation on high because because you chose not to settle with anybody that came across you and felt like you were the one and you knew they wasn't the one because you kept on going, Virgo. The person that's in some of you lie in some of y'all's lives, maybe you've already met this person, but if you haven't, this person is coming. This is the person. This is your soulmate potentially this is a partnership that is going to match your energy get ready single people you've been waiting patiently for love it is about to happen very very soon I'm positive thoughts and energy my subscribers until next time